Thursday, February 1st, 2024. The Lord tests the heart. Proverbs 17, verse 1 to 28, key verse 3. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. Proverbs 17, verse 1 to 28, NIV. Better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. A prudent servant will rule over a disgraceful son and will share the inheritance as one of the family. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. A wicked person listens to deceitful lips. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. Eloquent lips are unsuited to a godless fool. How much worse lying lips to a ruler? A bribe is seen as a charm by the one who gives it. They think success will come at every turn. Whoever will foster love covers over an offense. But whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. A rebuke impresses a discerning person more than a hundred lashes a fool. Evildoers foster rebellion against God. The messenger of death will be sent against them. Better to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than a fool bent on folly. Evil will never leave the house of one who pays back evil for good. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam, so drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Acquitting the guilty and condemning the innocent, the Lord detests them both. Why should fools have money in hand to buy wisdom when they are not able to understand it? A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity. One who has no sense shakes hands in pledge and puts up security for a neighbor. Whoever loves a quarrel loves sin. Whoever builds a high gate invites destruction. One whose heart is corrupt does not prosper. One whose tongue is perverse falls into trouble. To have a fool for a child brings grief. There is no joy for a parent of a godless fool. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. The wicked accept bribes in secret to pervert the course of justice. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. A foolish son brings grief to his father and bitterness to the mother who bore him. If imposing a fine on the innocent is not good, surely to flog honest officials is not right. The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint, and whoever has understanding is even-tempered. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent, and discerning if they hold their tongues. Daily Bread First, the Lord tests the heart. Just as fire refines silver and gold, God purifies our hearts. Many terrible impurities can linger in our life. Harmful words, bragging, lying, and even holding grudges. The Bible helps us confront these sins, and God gives us the spiritual power to remove them but it's important how we respond when our sin is pinpointed. Are you inviting God's word to examine your heart? Even though it's painful to see our sin exposed, a clean heart will bring peace and true joy to our lives. Think about the feeling of being in a dirty and smelly room versus a clean and orderly one. Which room would you rather live in? We need to ask ourselves the same question when it comes to our heart. What kind of heart do you want to live with? 
If we are wise, we will welcome God's word to deeply impact us, motivating us to be different so we can nurture a beautiful, healthy, and spiritual heart. Second, a discerning person keeps wisdom in view. In the church, we experience the wonderful fellowship of co-working, supporting, and bearing with each other. Relationships in the world, though, are different. The Bible still encourages us to be loving and kind, but it also warns us to be wise. Because our generation is full of sin and corruption, we have to be smart when we interact with worldly people. That means being careful in the commitments we make when facing conflict and in how we speak. In fact, Sometimes the wisest thing we can do is be silent. Are you seeking God's discernment and wisdom when you interact with the world? We still have to work, go to school, and establish our life here. But we don't want to be swayed by worldly influence or lose our heart for God. Instead of letting our eyes wander, the temptations of the world, we need to focus on being spiritually wise. Prayer. Lord, I need your help to live a spiritual life. Help me to accept your words in my deep heart so that I can be changed and glorify you. One word, let God's word change me and make me wise.